And welcome back, everyone, to the anime news for the week ending September 1st, 2017. Got a few fun things today, beginning with the news that Crunchyroll is going to start dubbing anime in languages other than English, and obviously other than Japanese as well. Now, they've already started working on dubbing you know, various things. Um, the initial initiative will be with uh, Spanish dubs, but they plan to also produce dubs for Brazilian, Portuguese, German, and French. So this means that Crunchyroll is going to become quite the central portal for anime if they can actually make that work. Um, presumably this means they have some European voice acting studios that they can work with. So that's <laughs> quite interesting. Uh, they're going to start this with dubs of Schwarz's Marken, Yamada-kun and, and the Seven Witches, and Hroka Braves of the Six Flowers. So all of you Spanish listening folks out there, you will have some dubs coming soon. Speaking of dubs, the Kickstarter for Aria continues to impress. Uh, not only have they already uh, received enough money to dub um, the initial Aria the Natural um, uh, as well as the sequel series. Um, they've added a new stretch goal to dub every Aria anime ever made. In other words, um, so that's uh, Aria the OVA, Arietta, um, Aria the Origination, and Aria the Avenir, besides uh, Aria the Animation. To give you an idea of how interesting that is, Aria the Avenir has never actually been released outside of Japan. <laughs> So that's really pushing the stretch goals there to add something that is uh, basically a new license for them, which is pretty cool. Uh, they will be able to do all that if they manage to get $360,000 in the, uh, the project. They've already gone well beyond 240000 So it might actually happen, which is pretty, pretty cool. We'll see. Uh, Toonami is going to be adding Cowboy Bebop to its lineup. This adds another half hour to the block, stretching it to four and a half hours, starting at 11 o'clock at night. I believe that is Pacific time, 11 o'clock? Well, I think it's 11 o'clock, um, basically whenever. Yeah, so that'll be starting next week. Uh, Bebop actually starts at 3 a.m., which pushes Attack on Titan Season 2 back to 3.30 in the morning. So um, that's a lot of anime, and that's a pretty big block. And then granted, you know, it's in the middle of the night, when there's not a lot of other things playing on, on uh, Cartoon Network. But that's pretty cool. Uh, to remind everyone, the current schedule is uh, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball C Kai, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Tokyo Ghoul, Hunter x Hunter, Lupin the Third, Naruto Shippuden, Outlaw Star, now Bebop, and Attack on Titan Season 2. So Tsunami seems to be getting back into the swing of things in terms of the amount of material there and uh, the... Uh, it, it's, you know, chugging, chugging quite along. Um, and also chugging quite along is the film adaptation of A Silent Voice, which is one of the more popular anime films of the past couple of years. Eleven Arts has announced that they'll be screening A Silent Voice in the United States starting October 20th. So we only have a few more months to go before we can actually watch it in theaters. From what I've seen, this is something that is worth seeing in theaters. Um... They already announced it will be uh, screened on, uh, in October, um, but now we have an actual date. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything beyond that that I know of uh, in terms of number of screens, so forth and so on, but here's hoping. This will actually be te technically the premiere. It was premiered at Anime Expo this past year, but in terms of, you know, full theater release, that's pretty cool. Um, finally, a uh, small note for Gundam fans, the author of Gundam Unicorn has announced that he will begin writing a new manga illustrated by Takeyuki Kosai called Mobile Suit Moon Gundam, as in the moon up in the sky. Uh, and that will be premiering, uh, let's see here, in, uh, uh, this month in, where is that going to be? Gundam Ace will be uh, premiering that. Gundam Unicorn, very well received Gundam storyline, so good to see more from Fukui-san. Um, and interesting seeing him moving from doing novels 
um, as well uh, into moving into uh, writing manga. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Taki uh, Kosai previously illustrated uh, Mobile Suit Gundam uh, UC Testament and Gundam MSVR Uchu Seki Eiyu Densetsu Koge no Shin Matsunaga. No idea what that is, but FYI. So that is uh, all the news fit to print this week. Um, um, Oh, also uh, worth noting that the uh, live-action uh, Death Note uh, more or less premiered on Netflix this past week to some reaction uh, and interest on the internet. So if you're interested in a live-action adaptation of Death Note, it is over there on Netflix for you to watch and experience. Uh, check it out if that does interest you. Otherwise, thank you all very much for watching this week. We will hopefully see you next week. Take care.